Mr. Whoopsie himself, the Jersey edition. Yeah, with the new Jersey now. Yesterday was at New York? Yeah, yesterday was in Queens. Yeah. I don't know if this is a good coincidence or what. You know this wearing a green and white shirt. You know what that's you know what that stands for for people like us, right? Carpe diem, man. Carpe diem, all every day. So um, I want you to just briefly talk about some of your new ventures, um, these new uh, investments and, and and merchandise and liquor and what's next. You mentioned the tequila. Tell me more about it. Well, with the tequila, we got the new. We're drinking it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the um. The Diamante Grand Tequila, um, it's actually in four different flavors. You know, we got the blue, we got the Anijo. This is it. We got the Reposado. And we got the plain one, the silver. And I just wanted to, um, as a guy that came coming from the event world of keeping large events, mm -hmm. you know, and from dance to large events, and we always doing consignment liquor. I kind of know what the consumer in my community kind of looking for. So what better way to um, be a black owned? co-owner of a tequila that's on the market coming up right now and the word that goes with it um is cohesive and you know the, everybody talk about the bottle is sexy mm -hmm. so we have a lot um in the pipeline with it this wasn't a right now investment to profit it's like a futuristic investment because mm -hmm. it's going to take a lot of um branding a lot of marketing um a lot of sampling like what we're doing now so people can start get familiar with it because you know we got some big competitors that we're trying to get out of the way so you, you know me already man like <laughs> our thing uh we always like to push the envelope on a different level. Like we have to work until, you know, it, 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 it feels that, until it, it manifests like how we do the part. Yeah, man. So, but, move, so move over, Sirac. The Amante is coming. Yeah, man. Sirac <laughs> and all of the tequila, them, the Dan Julio, the Casamigos, all of them, man. They're in a serious, serious competition because we have a, the biggest impact this I got have is no one has never seen a tropical tequila before. So we're flying to Mexico the next two months to the distillery to try to merge some flavors, some nice tropical flavors together. Like I have a manga and guava in my head. We don't know how that I got taste as yet. So we're going to try some artificial flavors first and then we see the right fruit to ferment with it because that specific bottle we just see that one aged for seven years with French oak. Oakwood. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So as I said, it's not a no um, investment. It's a future investment, like futuristic to get back results. But we know soon enough it's going to be all over America and definitely Jamaica and so forth. So the next Mark B high school reunion, you know what we are going to drink? <laughs> tequila Diamante. Diamante by oh, Diamante. Oh, Mr. Whoopsie yes. himself. <laughs> Talk about uh, uh, some of the things you have on the market as far as seasoning and sauces. Okay, so what we just did in the... Um, you, 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 we, we think about the people that we can't really afford to come to Las Vegas now. So mm -hmm. what, what better way than for just make a come in your cupboard then and for when you your cupboard, we know you go, you go taste, you go taste what the pot is like. Mm -hmm. So um, for the, the past two years, I was in the lab trying to create in some season where me myself really appreciate. Whereas low sodium, no MSG, and number one, most of all, is everything is gluten free, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the new one now, the lemon, garlic, and herb blend. So a lot of people really don't have the time to really cook or want a quick meal. So my season create where all you have to really do is just cut up your vegetables or whatever. Once you season the chicken or the fish, for instance, with the brown stew seasoning, that already have the tomato that I grill with olive oil and garlic mm -hmm. and I let it dry and then I, you know, I, I grind it out in it. So you don't have to worry about ketchup and cutting up and all these things. The lemon and garlic are perfect for all, we um, make that specifically for like vegetables, you know, and shrimp and seafood. We have the escovige fish, never has done before. So we have the scotch bonnet grind out, you know, with the pimento. All you have to do is cut up your onion and carrot and make an escovige sauce. We also have the steamed fish with the coconut milk, and we grate out the coconut, um, squeeze out the juice, dry the trash, grind out the trash. And um, them two, they go crazy. We also have the steak rubber, where for the New York strips and the ribeye and so forth, everything is already in that. We also have the house blend, which is all-purpose. That go on everything, everything. Mm -hmm. I have that one. Yeah, <laughs> and we have the jerk. We have the jerk season blend also. And um, I have one coming out um, specifically for soups. I have one coming out um, specifically for soups. Um, if I tell you the date now, I would be lying because um, we're going to the lab and I feel like something else is missing, so I'm sending a new ingredients to them to try something new in it. So that one is, you don't have to worry about that with scotch bonnet pepper going in your soup. It's going to get a skelly and the thyme flavor and all of them good stuff. So we have that one, the, the, the house soup blender come, right? Hopefully for 2025, we'll have that to go on. Listen, um, it's been a wonderful weekend to see you come back home to the New York area, pay homage to where it all started. Um, of course, you know me, one of your well wishes and, you know, this this platform is primarily for people from where we are from yes 
And um, on behalf of everybody from the Parsha Center, I want to wish you tremendous success. Keep soaring, keep going, keep working, keep representing. Never afraid to wear green and white like you do right now. <laughs> that represents the alma mater. Yeah. And we have the Center Mass and Jamaica flag high. See me. You see me? I say, what you do now? Big up some of the people that will help you put this weekend together, man. It's, it's been an amazing weekend. We can't catch every single thing on camera, but you know, we can catch catch some of it. Yeah, man. Um, we, we'd have a comeback because you know gratitude is a must. I we're gonna start off with my brother because I am. I him get the whole of the inventory together while I'm there in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Because when we are we still operate the restaurant, we still run it, see him catering and everything. So my brother Jay, him set up everything, make sure the garage is in a top shape, see him and get this mm -hmm. stuff involved. Um we have to be with my graphic designer and Las Vegas, she's she 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 kinda take the brand on a different level. Right? The whole house of Dutch pot stuff. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about guys like Brooks, we have to talk about Pooch, we have to talk about Rodina and Chantel. Them two girls uh, been a come at the garage and I support the movement like before them even decide to help me and all them decide to start helping now them start your busy garage I get them was just two girls always come on a Friday and Saturday and all of them fish sit down and all the vibes with me and over the years you know we grew and me or me stay I mean, regardless how people talk about someone else that are feeling perception of an individual them mm -hmm. two girls eh, them promote me thing on a level um I always send people around at the garage so them and one of them will help put us a Dutch partner the ground of Las Vegas we have to talk about my guy like from 500 and better Frenchie, um, Dutty Evan, the man that used to left work a social in America um, in um, Brooklyn, sorry, when I'm working in Manhattan and left Manhattan, come on the garage and I'm in I'm button down and everything to the point him take three and go work Monday to Thursday. But for come give me a strength, him drive to work, pay for tool, and I him run up on the delivery. So we have a big up Evan and move gone. I remember my Florida, I mean, I'm actually born the same day also. And you know, we, we have a big up the, 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 the DJ, them we support the thing over the years, run at the garage. Mm -hmm. um, scientist, DJ Prezi, Tyler, um, everybody from the Oka, the people I sell the juice, everybody, Jew, everybody, me, I big up. I have a big up my mentors, them are there right now. When I want to probably why so much why people in this documentary about <laughs> and them people let's see my them see things in me women never seen in myself because I'm telling her the previous one I jail me and come out and I start work at Applebee's and we meet Danny the first time and when we meet Danny I make him know say I'm a girl pregnant I have a daughter upon the way and the man they help me propel to get to the next level till Jeff come in at the restaurant and take on to me on a different level David come in as a kitchen manager and show me how to manage a kitchen and it just so happened me happened for be him uh, we like you know me take over from David and you know everything I we, we create this team my guy would just walk in Romeo two hours was an hourly and come up through the ranks like mm -hmm. right here so I love and love alone right here so <laughs> O'Neill the different with team as a supervisor first and then coming on the ranks as manager as a Jamaican me and him relate you know when he work for my shift everything go good you know when you already know my G, my brother from another mother over 22 years of friendship. Mm -hmm. Belly, if I never him would reach out Vegas, because mm -hmm. I him over Vegas mm -hmm. and say the opportunity is here. Yeah. And my brother, my brother would drop out last year, August Javel, rest in peace. Most, mo most time I wish me not have certain success no more because in the day I have to see it. And everything with me and him articulate before him pass away and manifest. Mm he -hmm. tell me, I go up and guys grocery game, go win, I win it. The day when I shoot it and win, he might go down in the grave. That was the day I get buried. So we have to big up Javel CMA. Anyway, just keep on look over, brother. And as long as me alive, your legacy have to live on and your name live on. So yeah, man, right now, how's a Dutch pop, man? How's a Dutch pop? <laughs> Last question. If you could choose, what would be the ultimate location for how's a Dutch pot? The ultimate location for how's a Dutch pot? It have to be coming back home. It have to be New York City. If 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 it me put in a position where I have to put one, it have to be New York City. More than nowhere else, I know you probably look for a question like Dubai or Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But because of New York City put Dutch Pot Fridays on the map mm -hmm. and it popped up on 11 now, I oh, if I forgot anywhere, I oh, for come back to New York City with one. Okay. Yeah. I hope, I hope I'm around to see when it happens. I, <laughs> I feel like it's going to happen. Yeah. Yo, Chef O. Yeah, man. Congratulations <laughs> again. And Heart of love. You know, we go all day, every day. St. Thomas Pablo, we country to the fullest. You heard? The fullest, man. <laughs> all right, we out. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out our website, therealicense.com. Join our exercise program, Movements of Ja People. See you next time on The Real License, the only show that's licensed for real. Yeah, you heard what my baby said.